welcome to Smoky Gaming. Today we'll be doing a video on how to set up your custom cameras and it works on any plane. Um, doesn't matter which one plane but we'll be using the A320 by Flybar Wire but it does work on any plane. Um, I've been asked to do this by my members on Discord, well some of them were not very bright but we won't go there. Uh, so I'll walk you through it, I'll show you how what mine look like and then we'll go through of how to get them. What you need to do, there is a little bit you need to do on the config for the cameras, but not a lot. Uh, it's very simple, and we'll we'll walk through it slowly, hopefully, and hopefully you get the hang of it. It's dead easy. We'll uh, we'll get on with it, and uh, I'll stop capping. So here we are with the A three twenty flyby wire. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to whiz you through some of my camera views. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go through how to get there with a bit of luck. So let's go back inside for now. And then let's have a little look at some of my views. So th these are my main views, so obviously the pilot view. But then I've got the front wheel. I have a, a rear wheel view. Right window. Left window. A little engine view then we have a wing view and we have one for underneath so then they're, they're my main that they're my main views which i use and um, obviously you can pick whichever you want but they're the ones i use so what we'll do we'll go into i'll probably use the the new phoenix a320 um and i'll show you how to add the camera config file because when you first go in it won't have one so you'll need to add one dead easy then how to go in edit it so you can get the camera outside the plane and then you can move it about and uh, pick your camera views so we'll just uh, reload back in with the Phoenix and won't be a tick right here we are back at Teesside International Airport my local airport not very big but we like it so here we are with the phoenix a320 so I'm just nip inside so i've already mapped which are quite easy um but i've mapped them onto my stream deck the internal ones so mcdu overhead rolls oops review that's the one i wanted review there we go so, as we know, the Phoenix has a nice interior as well. Right, so, with this, so if I show you my little file, which is this one here, here we go. This is the location where you will find the planes and where the camera views are. So... Um, packages so this is in on the Microsoft uh, shop so packages Microsoft Flight Simulator local cache stim objects planes there's all the planes and there's the Phoenix so we'll click on that as you can see there's no camera config so we need to get one in there the way we do that is just to create a new camera view so custom camera views to save a custom camera view, it's Control Alt, and then the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or zero. To view the camera, it's Alt, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I do, make sure before you do it, like you do actually, if you've got your mouse there, just make sure you click on the screen. I've got multi screens on, so I've got to make sure I click on the screen. Otherwise, it just won't do it. So if you've got multi screens, make sure you click on the screen. So Control, Alt, and 1. Okay. Now, that has created a custom camera view. And if we look into here, you can see we now have the custom camera view. What we need to do is edit this. But you will have to shut the sim down close it down 
alter the config file then reopen it so before we can do anything we need to change the config it's just one one little one little number so we need to change so we'll go and do that now and then i'll show you how to do that then we'll come back to the same and then we'll show you how to move around and create your own custom views so we will be back very shortly right we've closed the sim down we're now gonna do a little bit of editing on this uh, camera config file so just right click um you want to open it just open it with notepad notepad's fine so just go to open with notepad okay there we go so all you don't want to do is scroll down to get the first this one here the first initial xyz and these first numbers here all we need to do is change that to minus five and that's it that's all you need to do so file save close that's done that is now saved see okay so what you need to do now is go back into the sim back into the plane and hopefully it'll work two sex right we are back in the uh, phoenix a320 back in t side we have edited the camera config file so as you can see we are sat in the captain seat so if we now press alt one ta -da! we're now outside see that looks a bit weird but never mind so there we go we're outside so spin it around to shoot your mouse spin it round left and right the arrow keys so left and right is it left and right arrow key up and down up and down arrow key and all you need to do is put it where you want it so let's go let's go down and we'll go and do a front wheel so come in here in we go there we go so we're now in the front wheel so just get the camera how you want it Oh, there we are. <clears throat> so to save control alt and we'll do this number two two just remember it is you can't use the numbers on the on your number pad it's got to be the numbers above your letters or on the keyboard or your top numbers you've got to use so now if we press alt one Puts this button in the seat. All two. Puts us in the wheel. And all you have to do is just go around the plane, put in it where you want it. So just move it down. So wherever you want it. Put in the cargo hold if you want it to. Go up. And we're in, in the cockpit. In the cockpit. In there in the passenger area we can do the same here we can come over to a window get it where you want it as close as you can to make sure it looks like how you want it to look the same again control alt three that is now saved so, so we've got one <laughs> one two and three sometimes when you go back to your one it will put you back on the outside so just remember that so all you do is just hit it again and it'll put you inside um or if you want to for your captain view you can you you can keep alt one for the outside so you, if you want to change stuff i just leave it there just hit it twice or 
you can jump to the captain view captain seat view tally up to you but that is it it's as simple he says as that so all you got to remember make a cam cam view to start with that will give you your file go into the file edit it put it as minus five when i showed you come back in you will be outside and you can just move it around wherever you want and put your cameras wherever you want them to save them remember to save control alt one two three four five six seven etc 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 and then to view alt one blah, 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 blah. i hope this has helped i will put the file locations in the description because the if whether you've either got the microsoft download or the steam download they are two different locations so i'll i'll put them in the description you can find out where they are hope this helps um anything else you would like to see let me know i'll see what i can do um have a good day we'll see you later in the sky bye bye